I mean, I believe what she's doing is a good thing, but what long-term effects is it going to have on society? Whistleblowers have very rarely been a successful action, unless you have 10 whistleblowers. Once everybody gets on board, then somebody's going to move their butt because it costs people money. We're politicians' jobs, but uh, yeah, it's not necessarily the way I'd go, but, you know, whistleblowers are whistleblowers, you know? Uh, you got to have a pretty good plan before you jump into that particular quagmire. Because by and large, whistleblowers kind of get shot, you know. Here I am, over here. You know, they, they get attacked, so. I mean, I think she's brave. I think she's strong for going and doing what she did. I'm, I'm, I might not have been the kind of person to go do that. Um, I think she's done a lot to raise awareness about the severity of what social media does to children and the serious mental health consequences that could come afterwards. Um, so, I mean, I hope everything goes well for her. I don't really want to call her a whistleblower. I want to call her a hero. She's a little bit more of that to me. I think they have to set standards for everybody, not just not Facebook. Not just Facebook, yeah, because things are just, you could say the stupidest things, and then people believe it. And, you know, it's just ripple, the ripple effect and the, uh, the connections for every aspect of our lives. My little sister is already struggling with confidence issues because she sees all these super hot supermodels on her Instagram feed and she doesn't look like them. I've seen all sorts of hate on social media. You really can't avoid it. It's everywhere. People say they're trying to stop it, but you will get hate everywhere. You know, it's, it's almost unstoppable.